I'm Jason Gorman from Codemanship and today we're going to be refactoring a long method. So here's an example of a method we've got that's doing more than it needs to be doing. It's actually doing three things. So although it's physically not a very long method in terms of lines of code, it is doing more than it needs to be doing. Um, so I'm going to be chopping this down today. What I'm going to do first of all is take a look at the code and try and identify the different responsibilities, the different uh, things that it's doing. It deducts the amount from the balance in this debit transaction. It makes a record of the transaction by adding a, a new transaction object to a collection. And um, it also updates the uh, the string value um, of the uh, the last debit transaction date which for this transaction. So there's three different things there which I'm going to extract into three separate private helper methods. Okay, so let's extract this first line of code here which deducts the amount from the balance. And let's say what we see. So just deduct amount from balance. Don't be afraid to uh, say what you see. Okay, and as soon as I do that, I run the tests. Quick note here always check that you've got decent test assurance before you refactor any code. So if you've got a, a coverage tool like Emma, then um, you know, put it to good use here. Okay, so that's one block of uh, code uh, taken out. Now we've got another line of code here that records the transaction, so I'm going to uh, refactor that. It's Alt-Shift-M in Eclipse to extract a method. And again, we just say what we see, which is record transaction. Um, comments here giving us a bit of a hint, are they not? Okay. Now I'm going to run the test when I do that. Now. I'm not entirely happy with what it's done here and the reason it's done it is because I want I want a method that has two parameters. I want to be able to specify the amount of the transaction but also whether or not it's a debit transaction. But it's only picked up the amount as a parameter because I've used a literal value for debit there which of course it's just put inside the method. So there's a number of things we can do here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a parameter so we're going to use an introducer parameter here and let's call it is debit okay and what that do what it does there is it introduces that parameter and then uses the passes in the literal value as the parameter value in the, the method call here let's just run the tests so that's all working and I'm happy with that Okay, so that's two. One last block of code to go, which is the block of code here that um, updates the last debit date. Again, Alt Shift M, update last debit date. That shouldn't require any parameters, it's all pretty self contained. Run the tests, of course. Right, there we go. So we now have three calls in sequence to three separate helper methods that do three different things. A number of advantages to that. One is it makes the code a little more readable. Um, two, it separates out those responsibilities which means they'll be easier to reuse and to change independently in the future. So it helps with the evolvability of the code. Say for example I want to record credit transactions which I currently don't do in the code. Then I can just call this method as it is it's reusable. So so doing this helps to make your code simpler, easier to read and easier to change. Okay? Right. Now you'll also notice there are some other code smells here. Comments. You may not believe this but comments are code smells. And in this case we don't need the comments because what I've done very sneakily here is I've extracted methods with names that basically tell you what the comment says. So we can get rid of these comments and some of this uh, white space as well. Okay, and because I'm paranoid, I'll just run the tests again. There we go. So tests all passing. Our long method in inverted commas has been cut down uh, and has been made more readable, and the the different bits of code inside of it have been made more reusable. Thank you very much.